Hi ho. Good evening to Josh and Ian. I don't know what he said the oh no for. And good evening, Mr. Random. My right hand man is on early this evening. Have you got a run off early? Is that why you've popped in early? Martin's in, DV Detectorist. Good evening, to you. I've been out in the sun, I'm all burnt to hell. But there we go. Detecting the past, good evening to you. Weird British chick, good evening to you. Hope we survived the, the hot and the very moist and damp. Rob's cooking, so we'll ever go back and forth. What are you cooking, mate? Nice chili. Uh, Shane and Brian, good evening. Good evening, old man. Thank you very much for that. Norman Invader, good evening to you. Detecting your past, I said hi to you. That's uh, you're all welcome. Let's see if we can find the analytics. I've made me screen go big before I've even hit the button for the uh, analytics. So I didn't even notice, but a chat has actually worked off its own back. Right, full analytics, and we have a good stream. That's the main thing. 13 people. 13 people. Christopher, good evening. Christopher, good evening to you. I'm having fun of games with the green screen again. You just get it set up and you go out of the room and it, it just resets itself. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I think we're here. We might have a little bit of a green issue going on, but it's as good as I'm going to get. Good evening to Pomsey. Only got four pictures this evening. Nobody could be bothered to send anything in. I had to beg for it. So thanks for that. XP, good evening to you. Let's crack into the uh, thumbs up first. We have um, 14 on at the moment. And I don't know what thumb up situation. Who would like to be thumb up monitor this evening? Any volunteers before I... Pick somebody. Thumbs up. Martin wants to be a thumb up monster, so your demand. Tell me how many thumbs up we got. I'll just hit that graphic again. Thumbs up, people. 15 viewers. We need 15 thumbs up at least. Mr. Maximus is on. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Link Soul Searcher, he's in as well. We've got 16 on at the moment. What's the thumb up situation? How's the camping, Steve? Says Martin. Very, very wet. Very wet. Um, we rocked up on the Friday. Uh, the festival was Saturday, Sunday, and we kept there until Monday to take the tent down. Putting the tent up, hot as hell. First day of the, of the festival, pretty crappy. Then it just poured down constantly. Second day of the festival, eased up a bit, but still fairly lousy. Monday, pack-up day, boiling sunshine. So what's that all about? H Sturdy, good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. But the festival was good. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I've been to uh, with the um, Nearly Festival, which is a tribute band festival uh, with my two daughters, and it was good. It was good. Thank goodness for the breakfast bar, or the breakfast tent, and thank goodness during the day of both festivals, the IPA van turned up, Adnam's IPA. Because the stuff in the tent for the campers was absolute crap. It was Bud Light, believe it or not. Bud Light. I hadn't even got a decency to put a decent Budweiser on. 
you know i don't mind paying four quid a pint but for something i like not bud light anyway don't get me started on that dad dancer i did put a couple of little i don't know little live things just for fun one uh at silly o'clock when i got up i think i got up at half past five because it was light and then uh one on the silent disco and for those who don't know what a silent disco is it's pretty good weird to start with because people have got the headphones on it's three uh djs doing their thing all different colors red green and blue and you've got a three position switch on your headphones so you can go red green blue and uh all you see is a lot of people doing this and there's no music it's really weird but it's good fun Jet Ski John, 2006, he's on. Thanks very much, Thor's Treasure. It's uh, weighing it down here at the moment, it says Thor. It's been not too bad since I got back from the festival. Twenty on at the moment. What's the thumb up situation, Martin? Stands lad, good evening to you. Thanks for rocking in. In case you haven't, I'm going to give you the ping. Are you ready for the ping? Don't peek too soon. Wait for it. There you go. That's the ping. Lawn bowler. Josh is on. Dancing is completely unnatural, especially at a disco. Well, I must confess, I didn't drink at the campus disco. Um, I had a few buds at the tent and some in the festival when the ipa van turned up but i weren't paying four quid for a pint or just under a pint of bud light so i was probably one of the only sober persons there uh, it's just weird to see all these you know goings on with no disco music but it was really good really good martin you are the thumb thumb monitor keeping the room clean Martin doesn't want to be a thumb up monitor, so I need a volunteer to be the thumb up monitor just for this evening, just to tell me how many thumbs have got up because I can't see that figure. So, anybody want to put the hand up to be a thumb up monitor? A couple of disco biscuits would have got you going. Are you going to bring some for Detectable in, Rob? Uh, Feed buds at a tent. And that's 12 quid gone yeah I, I, you know the other thing what they have there was for beer there was just bud light and cider magnus cider and then i had a version of cider which was raspberry flavored so uh, but everything was four quid the pints were four quid the shorts were four quid the cocktails out of a tin dilly dilly docked up four quid everything was four quid Josh, 13 thumbs, 22 watching Rotto. Josh is the man. He's the thumb up monitor. We've got, I've got 22 on my screen. That's just that I can't see the thumb up uh, people. Normally invade a diet beer. I, you know, have the decency to put proper Budweiser on. I'd, I'd have had a few, but um, there you go. Saved a bit of money. It was an expensive weekend. There was four, well, three days there. And uh, kids crazed for everything. They wanted feeding which is unbelievable. Then there was um, rides to go on at three and four pound a pop and face painting and henna tattoos. And you just, you think, well, I brought out a hundred quid. That's all gone now. I hope you're Maximus. Weak as water, he says. Weak as water. Uh, too many sausages that detect will be a waste. Don't understand that, Rob. I've, I'm sure that, I'll be enlightened when I if I get entrance to your tent this time round. He didn't want me in last time at Spring Detectable. He just messed off. He knew where I was, but he just shut his tent up and went off. So I took that as a no. Steve, put your email up. It's too small to read. Oh my goodness me! If I make it bigger, that's going to mess all me. I can't even make it go bigger. Hang on, you know, these things you want me to do, I've got to go into the settings here. So I've got 40. 
what's it? I know it's a 40 font at the moment. Hang on, it's all somebody, isn't there? Talk amongst yourselves, because I've got to try and I can't even get it to work now. There we go. It's a bit big. I'll put it up to 50 font. Oh, that's gone off the screen. Look, oh, I don't know these people. It's going to run into everything now. Look. Oh, just about to see that. If I move that one. I suppose you're going to say the website one is wrong now. Can you see it, mother? It's a bit bigger. It's about as big as I'm going to get without messing everything up. How's that then, Ponzi? Is, can you see my email address now? I should have bought them real tattoos. Them real tattoos so they didn't complain when they faded. Well, it's only a bit of fun, wasn't it? You could always type it. I suppose I could, couldn't I? I'll type it. If I can spell, that'd be marvellous. Probably got the microphone in the way. I have to make me cordless keyboard. Where am I? Yep, that's right. I'll just bang it up in the conversation. That's the email address. If you wish to send me a photograph for next week, a picture for next week. We're a bit light this week. We've got four. Only four. Uh, Jetski John at Spring Tech where someone had weed vodka. Wow. <laughs> well, not heard of that one. I dare say Rob has, but... Um, hmm. Uh, Jessica John Rob can't wait to see you again. We to hang out at Detectable. You are a ledge. Rob's a ledge. Need to make you a vindaloo. Blimey. Don't do that. He's a bit smelly as it is. Derek Naylor, good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. Hello, folks. How's tricks? 23 people at the moment. If you haven't yet, please bang your thumb up. Appreciate it. How's it hanging, WBC? Decorated any more fines boxes lately? I'll see it when I, I believe when I see it, Rob, this rave up. There weren't much sign of it at Spring Detectable. Anywho, just going quarter past. If we're all settled down in our seats, I'll start on with the pictures, if you don't mind. A gel frazy. God. Just asking for trouble. Right, the first picture I have. Uh, yep, the guy's on here. We'll do this. There you go, Jet Ski John, 2006. He knows what it is. I know what it is. There's no um, measure or anything to say how, what size it is, but I'm sure Jet Ski will tell you what it is. Yeah, I was half expecting to see a change from the Regnus LP. <laughs> I spoke to Nigel about it, and he's very, very shy. Um, doesn't like uh, chats and live streams and sort of podcasts but he's quite open to go to live tv or on tv but you never know i have begged that he just pops in just the once but we don't know when he's a bit busy at the moment uh haven't seen any sign of this balloon not waxing yet have we rob 
Ian says a medieval bottle opener. Uh, Christopher's on the money with a sword or dagger hanger. I'm sure Jetsko will um, fill you in on all the details. There you go. I've got a rare find I found years ago. Also, if can send you a pic, if okay. Well, you don't have to ask to send me pictures, anybody. I'd rather have too many pictures, then I can use them in the following weeks. Just for your information, people, there be a, well, what I'm off on my holly bobs on Friday up to um, Norfolk, Darfrick, on the Norfolk, where the fingers are webbed and you have to, you know, count them. And uh, I've got a week up there, so I'll take the dais. Uh, I've got a couple of settings I want to try on the beach. Uh, Neil, good evening, Neil. Good evening. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Uh, so I won't be here, in here. For next Wednesday, I'll try and do a um, a live stream on the mobile where I am, but it's very hit and miss where you get a signal or not. But uh, having said that, I might be able to tap into their Wi-Fi. Yeah, that'll probably work. I think. I don't know. Well, I'll see what I do. I'll take my camera gear up there and some lights and stuff. Maybe just a ring light. And uh, I think last time I just sat outside. What's the secrecy then, John? How you doing, Neil? All right, mate. Been out and about. Found loads. Right, I'll flip back to the big screen because I say I've only got four pictures, so I'm going to try and hang them out. So we just pop back to the big screen. It's a sword hanger, I think, um, Martin. A medieval ring spanner, AF or metric. Could be Whitworth. A Whitworth medieval ring spanner. spanner. <laughs> Anywho, 21 on, 21 hanging in now. If you haven't yet, please thumb up. If you haven't already, that's the least you can do. If you're lurking in the background, I mean, it'd be nice to say hello so we know you're there, but if you don't want to show yourself, thumb up will do. Looks like we peaked at 24. 14 thumbs, says Josh, that is not good enough. That is not good enough. We've got 22 people on here. I need your thumbs up, please. Uh, okay, I'll let you off if you're on a mobile because you've not got a thumb up button. And I'll maybe let you off um, if you're watching on big screen like Ian because uh, I don't think... Who mooted John? I don't know, it weren't me. Party pop for a thumb up. Well, I haven't done a party poppy yet, but I was, I was hoping to um, do that for like a, a valid reason, not just for a thumb up. You can thumb up on a mobile, can you? Oh, I don't know. So people said you can't. 18 thumbs up on Mr. Maximus's screen. Are they? Says Josh, there are thumbs up buttons on Okay, fine. Well, I'll, I'll stand directed on that one. And... Uh, just in case nobody has thumbed up. I'm a generous sort of person. I must take some of these on holy. Well, no, I better not because it'll mess up. I don't want to upset the person we're renting the place off. This is, a, this is for thumbs up. If you haven't, just turn your phone sideways. If you haven't thumbed up, please thumb up. Mind your ears, far in a hole. The smoking gun. Right, that's the first popper this evening. AT Prozac, good evening to you. You've just come in time to hear a popper. 
Colin, Colin Stimson, good evening to you. Nice to see you. Well, not literally see you, but nice to have you on chat. Uh, Viper Detecting, just, in, just squeaked in time for the popper. Well done, Stan's lad. I'm in other half's good books as going with her. I thought he said he'd go down on her for a minute. Going with her down to her mum's in Sussex Friday. Uh, what you don't know yet is I'm off to meet my mates at the Goodwood Races. Oh, uh, that'll all go terribly wrong, then, won't it? Uh, Divi Detector Steve and Keith. You'll be part of my giveaway entry requirements along with a couple of other magic. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, Martin, for that. I'll uh, have to buy you a beer when I see you. Twenty six at the moment, and we've got Gone Detecting UK. Good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. Much appreciated. Change over drinking vessels because talking makes you thirsty. I have a special find from a couple of years ago. OMG, have you got a special couple of picks to come, Stephen? Treasure Act? No, actually, I've got, and there's nothing remarkable. <laughs> Depends. I mean, we had that sword hanger. Number two is from him number three is from you mr maximus uh number four is from somebody else there's nothing remarkable on because nothing nobody's sent me anything remarkable simon wales good evening to you thanks for dropping in much appreciated at prozac just got a magnet today same as rob randoms one to have a go of magnet fishing well good luck i've got don't really have anything of magnet fishing around here there's a big pond on one of the uh permissions i've got but it's near a road i'd imagine it's full of shopping trolleys and bicycles digger one digger one's in the house you got out of that you got out of that straw <laughs> oh yeah mr petticoat i think sent me a picture of uh Little short stubby person, Mr. Random, getting up to his waist in in, in straw. Uh, poor man had to have a hand out. Oh, I laughed. Oh, oh. If you want water by rose, it'd be full of guns and knives and blimey, what, just stick them in on the way past, do they have to knife somebody? Viper detecting, hope you don't you find a certain sheep find and a certain yellow coin find. Well, I've not got it on here tonight, so if we'd had, I'd have thought it had a decent to send it in. Uh, gone detecting UK git i mean i suppose it's got 60 coins four silver and two rings a big vicky silver congratulations why don't you send the pictures in i need your pictures look this strap line send the pictures in please else we have no pictures we've only got four this week that's what i always do steve great for quick evidence discardation I'll take your word for that, Josh. I'll take your word for it. Uh, Keith, basically, to enter the giveaway, people will ever need a sub uh, to validate it. So we've got a report. Only <laughs> we've got a re report back to Martin how many people we get. Anyhow, I'll move on. Um, this is a nice, nice little item here coming up here. Uh, Viper seven if next week. Appreciate it. Uh, I won't argue with that, Martin. Uh, I need a boost. Yeah, me and you as well. Okay, UK metal detecting. Mr. Petticoat is here. The guy who took the whittle, the whittle out of um, poor old Rob, struggling through a um, a straw drift. So anyway, next picture. Yep, from Josh. Josh, what the heck is it, Josh? Where'd you find it? And um, how deep was it? 
MDT Harley, good evening to you. No, you're fine. It's not half past nine yet. Late is just before I go and shut down. Rob Rat ate my legs. Yeah, it did look funny. It did look funny. I did laugh, to, to be honest with you. I know you shouldn't laugh at the, um, you know, the unfortunate people, but there you go. Uh, yesterday, by Martin of Bud Light. Oh dear, if I got Bud Light, a detective, I, should, I don't know what I should do. Uh, Josh says, it's a knee stroke shoe buckle. Yep, 1660, 1720, about four inches deep. There you go. Not in bad nick. Link soil searcher, play old finds. I know you. I don't mind if you've not sent something in before. Link soil searcher. You know if you haven't sent it in before, send it in. Doesn't need to be an up to date find. It could be something you found a long while ago. Just if it's interesting and you like it, send it in. It doesn't have to be a coin. It could be anything. Oh, Mr. Detectorist, just going off the screen. Good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. 29 viewers at the moment. So it is quite a nice buckle. And yes, I've not seen one like that before. So um, it's an interesting design. Right, back to big screen. So, he's got his smoke alarm going off. I think his dinner's done. Yep. Yep, I know, Mr. Maximus. I had that issue with a, a video or a um, YouTube video I watched last night. The guy was talking and he was going, oh, hi, so-and-so, so-and-so, and that didn't come up in the chat screen. Beyond my control... Can't do a thing about it. That's YouTube for you. Or you could blame the broadband provider. But I've got a good stream according to uh, to YouTube. So I'm sorry about the uh, chat box being two minutes behind. But I can do nothing about it. Nothing. No, nothing. Josh says 22 thumbs, 28 watching. Uh, could be a bit better, but I'll live with that. I'll live with that. I'll I'll give you a ping in case you haven't. In the unlikely event you haven't subscribed, wait for the ping. Don't come too soon. <laughs> right on the button. Right on the button. So the thing is, I'm looking at the um, chat screen on that screen, and I've got another screen over there with the chat going up on my output. And they're in time. Within a second, they're in time. Yeah, about about two or three second delay. Yeah, I am looking a bit darker. I was out in the sun. You can see, I had a hat on and it. I got a white bit around here, my hairline. Um, I had three days under canvas, mainly lashing down with rain. But when the sun did come out, uh, it was quite warm. Yeah, it was, I've been out to a festival over the weekend with the kids, a nearly festival, the um, tribute band, which is very good, except that it was very damp, very damp. Chris, the start at two minutes before start. It starts automatically. As soon as the live stream goes, this software just kicks in. I, I, I've got no option. I can't start a chat later. That's, it kicks in as soon as it senses the live stream martin says the ram's head the ram's head is stunning one of my favorite things i've found on youtube mr detectress i'll read yours because you've highlighted my name in orange i went out the other day to detect and it was like 95 only lasted 30 minutes i know i know there's a friend of mine who moved over to uh states and i think he said it was 122 fahrenheit which was a 50 degrees c and i thought i'm just i'll just melt i'll just melt 
AT Prozac. I'm going to Detectable, if that's any help to you. <laughs> Always come over and go, hello, sifter. Uh, Martins who will be at Detectable signing nude photos with Steve, Keith and the Regton stuff. <laughs> we sort of be signing photos, but uh, I'm not in the buff. Martin might be in the buff, although I have saw his, or he assume me his um, autograph card. And uh, he's topless, you know, a bit of a man boob situation, but he's not, you know, he's covered up down the bottom. So if you've got a bit of a risque um, signature, uh, Martin's your man. Regton stand, detectable. There'll be far more famous people there than me. So I was hot there in Florida, wasn't Mr. Tectress? Yeah, I think my friend is in, uh, what do you abbreviate CT? Is that uh, Connecticut? Here is 122F. Uh, Mr. Maxim said, uh, we will see what happens at Detectable at the Regton stand. You lot are in for a treat if you, <laughs> if you can find a Regton stand. Dirt Diggers UK, good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. 29 viewers at the moment. The Man Boob Crew. Yep. I could all, I, actually, without that harness on from the camera, I've got no man boobs. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, Mr. Detectorist, yep, that's right, CT, Connecticut, okay. The Moob Crew, the Man Boob Crew. Oh, I've missed Kimmy. Someone's commented, and I've missed. Let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll, blimey, can't see. Thought for one minute, Scott or Kimmy's crept in here and I've missed them, but I can't see. Can't see them on the, on the chat, so someone's just mentioned. That's right, Kimmy, LOL. Uh, Josh says, out for a few, a few weeks ago, 34 degrees, C for six hours. Uh, that's crazy. But we're never happy, it's either too hot, too cold, too windy, too wet. Uh, Palms, if he's in the bath, I'm going to whack out his PP on my pinpointer. <laughs> oh, I'd pay good money for that. Uh, oh, do you, who's that? The Dunelm Del Delver, is it? UK. Good evening to you. Sorry about that. I've not got my glasses on, as you might have noticed. And Martin says he won't be able to see it unless you bring your binoculars. Uh, Scott, and, Scott and Huntress Kimmy's new channel name. Big news. I knew they were going to change it. Uh, Mr. Detectorist, I love how my GoPro chest harness amplifies my gut. Well, you got it too low, mate. I mean, I started off with the camera down here somewhere on the old sternum, and that pushed accent into my old man boobs. Uh, so I brought the camera up a bit, so I've got the straps sort of ran under my armpits so that don't do too much of the old man boob bit. Uh, Viper Detecting, just had an idea for you. Get LP and Regton to set up with the metal detectives, guys, uh, to leave one field for the Regton and LP YouTubers. Then have a detecting battle between you all. Interesting. Doubt it'll happen, but it sounds interesting. I wouldn't win that. I'll be in a beer tent. Dirt Diggers. Dirt Diggers UK. He's not up with the hot news. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I've I've just come back from the festival. I'm knackered. I'm trying to keep the kids amused because they're on their six-week holiday. I've been out in the garden with slippery slide things, watching them going up and down the garden. I've been sorting out Wendy houses, taking down old outside kitchens what are all gone rotten. I don't know. I'm not up with the, up, up with the latest, so you're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to tell me the hot news. Uh, Josh says, if you've got enough water, it's not bad. Just have to get used to the heat. It's the humidity, yeah. That Roman, when I went out with Kev, that video, it was the sun wasn't out, but that was so humid. That was just like a sweat box. 
Uh, dirt digger, you need a harness for your dais. I don't need the dais is fine. That's the camera. Martin said I'd destroy him if we had a battle. I think the kids are trying to be herded upstairs to bed. I'm not agreeing with that one bit. Weird British chick, better name than Man Boob Crew, the Moob Mob. <laughs> You're very creative, WBC. And we saw that, didn't we? With the uh, lovely pink and yellow dotted thing last week. Right, let's move it on. We've only got four pictures, so we go on to number three. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Maximus's find. And um, maybe you'd like to explain. I know, well, that's 20 to 10 nearly. That's time for their bed. I've been messing about all day. The blob container, says WVC. Dirt Digger UK is okay to be slow, but he didn't know if I had my first Roman ever last Sunday. Well, Dirt Digger UK, first Roman. It's a bit you didn't send a picture in, wasn't it? If you sort of send a picture in, I'll give you a party popper, but on a big screen, all right, so you can get the full effect. So it's party popper for Dirt Diggers UK. And Kim found a hammer today. Well, it could be two party poppers. Lord Bob, don't know about your weird part of the country, but it's dark here. Well, it's dusk here. Uh, it's not dark, dark, but um, mind you, I live down south. I'm near the uh, nearer the equator than you lot. <laughs> yep, if you've got pictures, people, send them in. You can either uh, email them or uh, private message me on Facebook. No picture, no proof. The answer is black up here. It's not black in this room. I've got about 15 LED lights on me at the moment. It's quite warm. He says, I plastered it everywhere. Palm, you didn't see it. Well, there you go. These things just slip by, you know. 28 people looking at the moment. I don't know what the old thumbs up are. Yep, email it right now and um, it won't come up next week because I'm on Holly Bobs and I've not got the uh, the software for the studio software. So it'll just be a, um, a mobile live stream next week, people. Scott's Roman was a cracker. Weird British chick, just hope it doesn't ever reach my air lawn bar or I'll make a special electrode chip for you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Maximus, Mr. Tectris, I've just subbed you, mate. Yep, if you've not subbed each other, people, show the love, spread the love. If you haven't subbed them, sub them and everything will be cool. Uh... Dusk up here in Durham, but we're near the Arctic. <laughs> yep, sub people, share the love. Right, this is for Dirt Diggers UK for the first Roman, but we've not got a picture, but well, I'll trust you because you're trustworthy. So fingers in the ears, far in the hole, that wasn't as loud as the last one. I'm just waiting for somebody to complain that I've hurt their eardrums. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Detectorus, had a good time. Have to get in the car. Uh, thanks, everyone, for the new subs. Hope you enjoy. Take care. Much appreciated, Mr. Detectorus. Maybe see you next week. I should be in in the middle of nowhere, near the, near the beach. So if I've got a signal or a Wi-Fi signal or should be live so hopefully fingers crossed i've done it from here before hopefully i'll do it again
Yep, for sure. Always enjoy it when I catch a stream. Thanks, much appreciated for the comment. Your kind words mean a lot. When it goes well, it's okay, and but sometimes it has glitches and things don't work. But this week, fingers crossed, touch wood, seems to be working. Thanks for your dropping in. Duddy V says, a nice person. I find, I find, good evening, I find. Um, thanks for dropping in. Mucho appreciated. Uh, Mr. Maximus has commented on his badge. I'll better put it up again. Uh, Royal Artillery Cap Badge. Just a nice find as the condition is great. It's very nice, isn't it? Was it as straight as that when you got it? Uh, Ian says, Martin, Rob, Josh, blocking time. Well, my right-hand man is... Um, or my right hand men are Rob and Martin, so I'll leave it down to them. Nick's in the house. Nick's in the house. I'll go back on big screen again. 30 people, pretty good. Uh, Dirt Diggers UK, do you have any idea what it's like smelling Rob random after three days of camping? No, no. I glitched then, my output froze. I hope it's not signs of things to come. Now, I wouldn't hazard a guess what Rob smells like. Honestly, I wouldn't. I think Martin is eating with Rob. <laughs> Josh says, looks like I'm gonna be blocked for no reason. Nick, talk to you when I'm back. No, you're not, you're not been blocked. Josh, just calm the heck down, mate. You're not blocked if you if you're nice you won't get blocked rough random and that's the smell is it rough I smell rough rob's back from his fire alarm going off must be dinner time now couldn't smell anything after that field of poop Ooh, lovely it's nothing better and have a nice field of freshly spread poo. Uh, Dirt Diggs UK, we camoed with Colin also. Camo, do you mean collabed? Cam oh, camped. That's an O. You put an O in, it should be a P. Yeah, camped with Colin also. Josh is always nice. Colin says, hi, Scott, got to get used to the new name. That takes some getting used to. Uh, Stephen says, had a wicked weekend with Rob Random, Scott and Kimmy, Colin, Treasure Ed, Crazy Cressy 7, I detect South Wales at the Mine Lab weekend, and the LP family. Hope Pete was fine. We had a guest appearance by Pete last week. <clears throat> Still no goodies coming to post from Pete. I wait, I wait in vain. Weird British chick. I saw Stephen saw a little too much. Oh dear. Is that not good? I uploaded the vid in the wrong gourmet. Do you mean format? I send fingers again. They're hitting the wrong buttons. Format. Redoing it now. Crazy fun. Awesome footage. <coughs> Ian says, my other half was shocked when he showed you full moon. Blimey. That's too much information. Right, we detecting that field wasn't as bad as the dairy farm where I found my first two coins, which are hammies. Hammies. MDT Harley, Ian, yep, 55 inches. That must have been scary. I'll give Ian his due to watch me on a 55 inch. You're brave. You're really brave. <laughs> oh, dear. Goodies from Peach. Am I switching alliances? No, no, I, I, I had this vision of the way Pete was on about. He might have just sent me something just for a laugh, you know. 
like holding up an LP sticker or something, but it didn't happen. So, uh, uh, once you join the dark side, there's no going back. In what in our, even our living room light blacked out. <laughs> Was it that bad, Ian? Was it that bad? God, I've got to catch up on these videos. I have taken my eye off the ball. Right, nearly 10, 10, 28 viewers at the moment. What's the um, thumb up situation? Josh. Rob says, Steve, I have a gore vid I shall put up after your stream. Some nice kit in it. Raided the mine lab tent. Mm. I'll have to drop in for that then, Rob. It's capital punishment to hold an LP sticker. You'd have to lose a hand if you did that. <laughs> uh, Brothers Detectors is on. Anybody good at translations? Good evening to you. Thanks very much. You... Uh, Managed to make it every evening. I appreciate what you what you say. I can't understand what you say. I have to um, copy it and put it into a translator. Let's have a go. Uh, good afternoon, friend. TMJ, strong hug. Brothers Detectors. Thank you very much. Very kind. I'll, uh, I hope I'm not swearing when I do this. Right, where are we? 28 viewers, 28 thumbs up. I'll live with that. I'm happy with that. Thanks, Josh. Uh, any of it legally gained, Rob? Well, no, I'm Rob, probably not. It's hotter than a, a move on a summer's day. Hotter than the, uh, hotter than Rob Random's boyfriend. Links also to you. I haven't checked the emails. I, I, I can't multitask. I'm doing a live stream. Let's have a little look. Did you send it to contact at Suffolk Sifter? Uh, yeah, I've got a Norman Invader. And, uh, and one beginning with G J E F F. Uh, I don't want to read names out. Let's open it up. So I've got two in. I shall move them directly into the pictures. It won't be next week, people, because I'm on Holly Bobs. Uh, oh, Norman Invader, nice bit of silver. Won't give too much away. Move to live pictures. Right, I've moved them over, so they'll be with me, but not next week, because I'm up Norfolk, where the, the fingers are webbed, and there's sort of six or seven fingers on a hand. Warm up your email. I'm sending something soon. Great. Thanks, Dirt Diggers UK. Look forward to that. I'll keep one eye on me other screen for me emails. But it's a bit slow down in Suffolk. They take a bit of time getting down here. Uh, weird bit chick. I could have lived without that image in my head. Yep. Rob, whoa, look at Steve and his language skills. No, it's just translate, mate. I don't know what I says. I think it says thank you. Um, gobbledygook says Rob. <laughs> We've got mail. Not at this end. Not just yet. 
Uh, Mr. Maximus says I'm from Northeast. Can't even speak English. L O L O L. Um, Brothers Detectors, uh, thank you. Uh, I, I understand the Amigo bit, Amigos, but I'll have to use Google Translate, unfortunately, because I'll knock that well up. Uh, very good, your work, Suffolk Sifter, uh, TMJ, let's leave thumbs up, friends. Yep, you've heard it first. Uh, yep, Brothers Detectors have said it, stick the old thumbs up, people, or just stick the old graphic up. I wonder how what this word will come out like. Oh, well, that, that's self-explanatory, that is. Well, in case you don't know, people, it's um, Portuguese is the language. So this is for you. Brothers Detectors, that's you. Simon Wales, care, careful, I'm in Norfolk. Oh, dear, I've upset one of the, one of the locals. Uh, as long as you're not nowhere near Overstrand, you can't come and get me. Detector Kev, good evening to you, Detector Kev. Just going back on my comments because I missed a couple while I was messing about. Nothing wrong with Suffolk. Uh, was Martin's on about German, French, small amount of Spanish and basic Mandarin. But not too much. I know. If you speak Latin, OMG, you are a priest. I. <clears throat> I'm going a bit higher than I. And the Overstrand and the, the bungalow we hire or rent each year is about, well, it used to be about 100 metres away from the, the cliff, but there's a lot of erosion going on. So I dare say the, the garden could be smaller this year. We'll see, but we'll find out on Friday. WBC, supposed to be making a trip up to Suffolk, up to Suffolk. Yeah, I suppose that's right, up to Suffolk in October, November. For the SFX convention, but I'm not sure I'll get time off. University, it's all it's all booked too. That's not a lot of good, is it? Where is this SFX convention then, WBC? I'm not swearing in Portuguese, Ian. Uh, Dirt Digger UK, I think we have a film crew coming to Detectable for the VIP lounge. I want to be going at the Regton stand to see all the people signing the uh, pictures. VIP lounge. So, Colin says Suffolk's okay, the best bit is the A14 heading west. Overstrained is the poor part, mate. It, I'd, I'd move to Overstrained in a heartbeat. Compared to where I am at the moment. A place we rent is lovely, peaceful, quiet, got about an acre around it. Steps down the beach, it's fantastic. Uh, Viper Detector need to get a channel up and running and allied with LP or Regton ASAP so I can join the VIP tent. Well, I don't think we're getting in the VIP tent, are we, Martin? Martin says, not too bad, Kev, hoping to go to the weekend, da, 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 okay. Try to catch up on my 55%. Says, Dirt Diggers UK. Ian Watson, uh, they're, they're talking to you, Ian. You're going to have to translate that one. Get below the beach. Um, trouble is, Norman Invader, it's, um, there's a lot of erosion, but there's a lot of cobblestones. There's a lot of stone, it's very stony. And there's a lot of trash, there's a lot of wires, a lot of houses been over, there's gates, there's brickwork, there's a lot of rubbish, a lot of rubbish. I tend to go over where people have sat for the day on the high tide mark. Dirt dig UK, don't do things, you do handshakes like royal people without big heads. <laughs> I didn't propose this sign and stuff, I was asked to do it. Rob Random, don't want to slap mine, mine up at the same time, bro. Okay. Yeah, Vibe Detecting is... There you go.
Yep, step straight into the water soon. Could could quite well be. Yep. There's a lot of erosion down there, unfortunately. Uh, Chris was in workshop. Yep. Brothers Detectives talking to Rob. Mr. Random, your turn. MD and T Harley ordered new stickers for Detective today. I haven't done anything about them yet. I've just got a load of, well, you know, I've got a load of these. You won't see it because that's blue and it doesn't work because I've got a green screen, but you get the picture. Uh, you won't get the picture actually, but anyway, the blue round ones, I've got a load of them. I'm going to ring that up what detectable. I did think about doing a special detectable mm. one, but you know, I don't know. Now, sifter phone's gone off, whether it's just a, a Vodafone advert or whether somebody has actually run it or texted it. No, it's an advert. Oh, breast enlargement. No, I don't want that. But yeah, we've got the phone here, people. There's a phone number up there. Text, if you like. Call in. If you call in, I will put you live on air. Detector Kev, reckon we can sort our own, our own, or own, ORXP, ORX tent, VIP tent. It'll be a small tent. <laughs> ah, tiny floats, I know, I know. I think I might have tweaked the, the blue up a bit much to try and compensate for the green, but anyway. I don't know what you can, oh, I can't do nothing about it, can I? I've got a black one on here. I've got a little compliment slip. So you can't even see that, look. No, that's not even going to do that. Just about get it. But it's blue. <clears throat> a decapitated sifter. Cromwell, Jeff's on. Hello, mate. All right. Uh, what are those three chicken wings? Chicken wings? Chicken wings? Chicken wings? What do you want Chicken wings? Uh, no, I got all excited there for a minute. I thought we had a text, but it's just rubbish. Uh, <clears throat> everybody say hello to Jeff. Uh, Dirt Digger UK, all the green screens, we go to jail instead. What? Of all the green screens, we go to jail instead if a nice beach somewhere. I could put a beach background on if you like. <laughs> I'm doing T Harley. I just realised with a Z that uh, Dirt Digger UK is Scott. <laughs> oh, the old penny's very slow to go down that track. Uh, Detector Cave, we got 400 members. Wow, well, well done. Well done. I find, hi Steve, I'm off now. See you soon. Thanks very much for popping in, I find. Much appreciated. Thanks for contributing. Uh, Mark says, I need invites off people soon for detecting. Got a grand plan for a YouTube mini series. Metal detecting tour of Britain. You're quite welcome to come down on mine, Martin, but there's not a heck of a lot on it, and you have to time it right because it gets harvested and then direct drilled straight after that. So you're going to have to time it really, really good. The good thing is, I think they started combining, and I've got more fields of um, linseed this year and ever, so that should be better to go on because I can get the old core right down then. Buy, I find, nighty night. Breaking news. <laughs> Pearl and Dean. Other brands are available. Yeah, you can come down there, Martin, if you like. I'm sure I could get a tent out for you. Or you could sleep in the Wendy house. <laughs> The kids certainly don't play with it, so you might as well sleep in it. Mm. 
So Dirt Diggers UK. Now it could be either Kimmy or Scott then. At least with Kimmy and Clodd or Scott. And then you had your own one where you had a, a reasonable chance of guessing who it was. And they were totally knackered. Righty, 24 people at the moment. We've got one picture left. I might just spin over to that in a minute. Uh, AET Prozac hasn't been detected for three weeks. Blimey. I've not been for just under a week and I'm gagging. Literally gagging. I want to get out there in the old 4x4 and I'll wander around and see what's been cut. But I'm going to have to wait until after the Holly Bob. So that's another week to wait. So that'll be two weeks. Martin says, hoping for 10 episodes, I'll start on my own location. So ideally nine locations needed. Interview from whoever invites me, etc. Talk on history and location. How are you going to put yourself up then, uh, Martin? Have you got a camper van or one of these big RV things, you know, for these famous YouTubers? Oh, yeah, I'm gagging. I'm feeling suicidal. got held back. Norman Invaders collecting... Uh, YouTube stickers from Blackadder. Yep, Norman, if you want a sticker, mate, I can't show you <laughs> because the green screen blocks it out. But you want a sticker, email me your address or Facebook me your address. I'll send you a sticker, mate, no problem. Yeah, anybody who wants stickers, just email me. Give me your address, say I'd love a sticker. I'd love a Suffolk Sifter sticker, and I'll get one in the post to you. Hopefully before we go on Holly Bobs, because if I don't, that'll be a week before they go out, because I won't be here. Good old Norman. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can... Show you a picture of the blinking sticker. So I can get a picture on screen. Talk amongst yourselves. Right, I'll open this up, try and make it big, try to make it too big, it'll go all bloxy, bloxy. Right, drag me other little camera out, point it over there and we'll see if this picks it up. This is my second generation stickers, device not available, fantastic isn't that, hang on. Oh well, that's a problem, isn't it? Hope you can hear me. I think you can. It's got the mic on now. No, device not available. In it, more marvelous. No, not going to work. Well, that's best intentions. That never worked. Sorry about that. Nearly worked nearly worked who's camping i'm not camping at detectable i've had enough of that i should be in a, in a hotel with a spa apparently uh by detecting i'll be permission hunting soon divi hopefully i'll get something for you <clears throat> mdt i'll be camping yet but I haven't got a tent that always helps interesting stickers it is isn't it wvc Rob, you can come to Reading and detect in the park, Divi. I can take you on some special woods. That has tramp relics in it, LOL. I'd be careful, Martin. Be very, very careful. I've got invitations like that in the woods. Tramp relics. Rob likes to go in the woods. <laughs> MDNC, I was in a hotel but thought, gonna miss out on the light life. Trouble is, um, 
AT that I don't think the services at Detectable are going to be very good. I think there's one standpipe for water and that's it. <laughs> probably three or four carsies, but Rob's going to probably fill most, fill most of them up on the first day. Hardly can sleep under my caravan. If you don't have a, well, it's very dangerous sleeping under a caravan. Get the old waste pipe. <laughs> Broke your cherry in the woods. Adventures with Mark. Good evening, all. Thanks for dropping in. Let's go back to that screen so I can see 25 people at the moment on. Uh, Mr. Petticoat makes a killer breakfast. There'll be a camp, um, there'll be a, a, a Extreme Metal Detecting UK and a Suffolk Sifter camp. Uh, it involved that tripped up camo land, landy and a big tent to go with it. Uh, so, and it'll have our banners up. There'll be uh, Extreme Metal Detecting UK banners and there'll be the Suffolk Sifter banners. So if you can find them, if you can find them and you haven't got a sticker, just wor come and worry me and um, I'll give you a sticker. I've got a few badges knocking about. I'll bring them as well. Yeah, I can't even show you my badges because the green screen will go, I don't, I don't know. Getting very white because we're getting near a light, but there's a little badge there. All the fridge magnets are gone. And the key rings are gone, unfortunately. Uh, you don't need water, just beer. Hi, Dirty Diggers. Great name. Jeff can vouch for Mr. Petticoat's breakfast. I'll be careful. You're going to have to have a, a line of people with a plate queued up. 30 thumbs up. That'll do me. I'm happy with thumbs. I'm just on the off chance that no one, someone's not subscribed. Wait for it. If you subscribe, if you haven't, that'd make my night. That really would make my night. If we got a new subscriber, other than a person with multi-channel YouTube channels, a genuine subscriber, I'll give you a party popper. Mmm, breakfast. Derek says, you think you would have had something with your name on? Uh, confused. Confused.com. Rob realised I had no bin, so I had to drive home with a rubbish bag with poo in it. Oh, can you stop that lay-by and put it in a bin? Ugh, 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 too much information. Those tomato sausages were great, says Colin. Black shirt, oops. Apart from the poo, you had the smell of burger, van and onions on the way home. Rob, we now know what your giveaway is. A handful of poo, I should imagine. Why don't you just dig a big hole? got no sense what do you need you got a shovel dig a blinking hole kick a bit of dirt back in it adventures with mark i think he's a beehive but i've had two in a week and think first is 100 percent silver so again no pictures but i trust adventures with mark and just for the fact he's got his first silver beehive i think that's what he means i want to do a party popper so you know the score people Fingers in your ears, far in a hole. The smoking gun. That was a loud one. That made my ears ring. Uh, you're going to stay until 11 tonight, Steve. I don't know. My bladder is saying half past 10. You'd have to talk amongst yourselves or however we. Why 11? I think Rob's going to do something after my finish. I don't want to run into his, um, what time you ought to do your bit then, Rob, so I'll clear off. Uh, Josh, I mean, a good, a good bleach. 
you can use for the brain, maybe somewhere. <laughs> Dirt Diggers UK timed out. You shouldn't time out. Only if you hit the button all. Who t I didn't time you out. I didn't time you out. You mean you're on the naughty step? First silver thim thimble. Nice one. Mark, well done, mate. I've not found a, th a silver thimble, so you're doing better than I am. Oh, sorry, MDT Ali, I think you missed the question. If you hold your sticker up to your black shirt, the green screw will not mess with it. I don't know, but you won't see the sticker then, will you? Because that's too far away. I know if I lean forward, my grey man, this is my sticker, and I've been told if I put it on here, which is my black shirt, but it won't work, will it? Because you have to get near the camera. And, and that goes see-through. So no, in answer to your question, it doesn't work. That's the trouble with the green screen. It'd be very careful what you wear. Um, you know, certain colors just don't work. Rob Martin, who timed me out? I didn't, I didn't time me out, I did not. Oh dear, poor old Josh. He he um restored it. He restored it, shall we say? Viper detecting. I had my first James II. second. You could be making this up, couldn't you? You could just be making it up. I had a gold sovereign. Should I give myself party popper? No. Viper detecting. I had my first James II second that weekend. If that deserves a party popper. Well, I feel generous tonight because I won't be doing party poppers next week. So we'll give you another party popper. A vitally detecting fingers in your ears, far in the hole. Quite as a, a real stiff one. Ooh, missus, that was a real stiff one. Uh, right, I'm just going back on me. I uh, really wish to give a uh, cheap poppers so I can make... <laughs> it's soul destroying not being able to complain about them we, i had a bad batch of party poppers where the strings would pull out and nothing would happen and martin was in his elephant he used to moan moan and moan josh says it was restored you straightened hammond coin no rob didn't straighten the hammond coin he broke a hammered coin so why can't i straighten a thimble you can do what you like josh do what you like not a problem if you're happy with it i've found a i think a 19 i don't know 11 nice little silver sixpence and i've shined that up it's my little hopefully lucky thing <clears throat> south coast detecting good evening late on parade that did look great you've done a nice job in restoring it josh so yeah with Mark and head off now. Thanks for party papa. No worries. Take care and happy hunting. Good luck. Thanks, Adventure with Mark. Nice to see you. Uh, next week I shall be hopefully live from Overstrand if everything goes to plan. But not like this. That'll be on a mobile phone. So not as slick as this. Uh, I tried the link. It was sold out. It did too much of a good job selling it. Righty. What are you putting in your thimble, Josh? A finger, I should imagine, Rob. Uh, Major something today, Aaron. We'll have to wait until September, mate. Um, don't ask him that, Rob. I'd rather not know, says WBC. Josh, you might say it had patina or patina. We had a dis discussion last week how to pronounce patina. Uh, but in person, it was black. Uh, silver is meant to be silver, not black. It's fair enough. Everybody, each to his own. Each to his own. It's his new drop catcher. Drop catcher. Don't know about that, Ian. Yo, 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 peep, says South Coast Detecting. <clears throat> Too small for anything other than my finger, Rob. Uh, 
who's after a simplex, a simple X. Rob wants one apparently. Well, if you give one away, South Coast, I will take one on and give it a thrash. I shall send me you me um, address. Uh, right with the Tech and Josh, completely agree. You don't leave silver sulfide covered in Hammy's Hammy's black. So what do you do with him? Josh, you misspelt large. Uh, Aaron, what date in August is it out? I don't know. Well, I've got one more picture, people. No, he's given me a simplex. He's given you a complex, Rob. I'm getting the simplex. Derek, right, got to go. Have a good week, evening, folks. Stay cool and have a good weekend. Thanks for dropping in. Much appreciated. Thanks for taking the time. Right, let's go to picture number four. And I'll leave this now. I know there's more than one find on here, but I'll let the man talk about it. <clears throat> right, Josh, over to you, buddy. Might be detecting simplex seems great for the price might stick with my knock though rob will it involve carpet burns that's a tmi information thing uh christopher always clean his hammies and straighten them i've never had the uh, the guts to try and straighten a hammy more tea vicar Here we're off again about the LP code. You also can get 10% off here, look. The Suffolk Sifter discount, 10% off Regton also. So you don't have to go to LP, go and see Nigel. <clears throat> there you go. Today's coins, three silvers, two foreign coins and one badge of some sort. No, I can't make out the badge, Josh. Does it say anything on it? Is there any words on it? Any letters? Norman and have a good holy, Steve. I will intend to. A bit a lot quieter than where I am at the moment. Uh, do you detect Canada, England, Germany, Spain? Where were you detecting, LOL? <laughs> I thought you wouldn't notice that. I thought it was discreet. Uh, something I just couldn't hang on to. I apologise for that. <laughs> I didn't forget Ian. I muted it, but obviously there's a lag involved. So there's a lesson learnt there. I did hit the mute and I made sure the mic says off. But obviously it didn't coincide with the um, opening of the flaps. SS disc sounds more like a... Yeah. I didn't make it up. Nigel made that up. I straightened my gold hammy. Oh, brave, 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 brave. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Normally, Vader, where's that shit bag, Rob? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> uh, there's me thinking, I'm oh, so clever, I've muted the mic. Can I have a discreet... <laughs> Come and see me. I've just done a Fast and Furious on a Simplex delivery truck for the Polish. 
<laughs> Do I get a party popper for that guff? Was it? A, does it warrant a party popper? <laughs> Link Soul Searcher. Good night, buddy. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> I'm going back to the big screen. <clears throat> right, there's a lesson learned there to moot the mic a while before you need to do something silly like that. Yeah, but DVD doesn't sound very good either, does it, Martin? Sounds like some sort of, I don't know, dyslexic person. Steve is the party pooper. <laughs> you need an O on that. Be a pooper, party pooper. Bass looks military. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> so I've, I've outshone your um, coins, Josh. I apologise for that. I'm sure I could do a party popper and nothing would happen. And honestly, it wouldn't. It's just roses. It smells of roses. <laughs> it was way louder, was it? Let's just compare it. Look, let's do a party popper for the guff. Like, is this louder or is this not louder? <laughs> smokes. It smokes. <laughs> I might have to go back and edit that one out. Let's edit the fart out. I wonder what um, YouTube would caption that up as. <laughs> Steve thinks you're kind. Uh, Rob says, uh, what's that? D-I-W-Y-D as well. I see. Right, that's close, isn't it? Guff was loud, okay. I'll take your word for it. I'll listen to it, playback. That was, well, I don't know what time we are in at the moment. Around about 10.22 mark. I was left to ever listen. Not loud, it says Norman. Let's not have a debate on the guff, all right? It's over and done with. It's a faux pas. It shouldn't have happened. I hit the mic, but obviously it didn't cut it in time. Smoke less <laughs> Better out than the Insta's XP. Martin says he buried a fart in a jar. I dug it up a year later and gas came out green. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> Ian says he thinks the smell came out through his TV. Sorry about that, mate. I did have a good spaghetti bolognese before I went on there. Uh, not good for my cinema. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Sue, so, Sue, so sorry. You can say, <laughs> save a fortune on party poppers. Uh, oh, trouble is, Jeff, I wouldn't be able to muster one up at the right time. I'll say I put weird British chick off. <laughs> Good job Anne weren't on and Charlie and all that. So I'd put their nose at you. <laughs> MDT Harley, all right, everyone. I'm headed out. Have a good night, all. Thanks for uh, dropping in, mate. Nice to uh, see you on. <laughs> Bass was low. <clears throat> yeah, take care, Harley. Norman Invader, new. New? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, and Sam Bar nearly fell off a TV shelf. I love, I lobe how people laugh at their own farts, but go bullshit crazy if someone else farts. Yeah. I thought I got away with it. I thought I'd, I thought I got away. Let's just forget it because you know people wonder what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> You've had a good plaster. Josh, this prototype smell vision is going back first thing in the morning. 
It didn't. It didn't. It's roses, mate. It's roses. Who's the dog? <laughs> oh, you should have filmed it on your on your mobile here. If you film it, send it in. I'll put it on. Well, well not next week, but afterwards. Ah, oh, farts are definitely the funniest thing, especially your time right at the food. <laughs> oh God, Rob. Oh dear. When you, when I die, mate, please come to my funeral and let him go. I'll just liven things up. I shall have a status quo tune called Down Down, Deeper and Down. And that'll just oh that'll be good. This is gonna go on YouTube forever. If you delete it, Rob will have recorded it. <laughs> oh god. Now honestly people, I did mute the microphone. I hit the button, waited for the mic to say off. And I thought nobody will notice. I'll just just lift a buttock up, nobody will notice, and then the shit hit the fan. Not literally. Christopher's going, night all. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Much appreciated. So, no, it wasn't. It was dry. It was dry. But, but if you want something, if you want to know a bit of TMI, when I come back off this um, camping expedition, there was a few near touch and cloth incidents there. I'd have run about three or four times. What, what the heck I had over the festival weekend, I do not know, but it wasn't the beer. Uh, Jeff says, uh, can I do a duo? <laughs> I'll do a banjo duo farting competition. <laughs> Why would Martin want to know that? WBC, you know, that begs the question. That was the week's giveaway. I'm, I've not got a giveaway. Well, I've got I've got something I could could give away, but I, I won't get in. I won't be able to get in the post uh, in time. I don't think because we got we didn't got a post office basically, and I can't be asked to go into town. Uh, lawn bowl, three hundred sixty-seven thumbs up and fifteen hundred ninety-seven viewing. Yeah, we all saw the. <laughs> all right, enough of your jokes. Enough of the wisecracks. It's finished. It's over. Move on. That wall nearly fell down. I did flap the old green screen a bit. There's a gap between this chair. There weren't, but there is now. Mr. Sift was hiding on the table. You thought it was an earthquake. Mr. Sift was not in here. <clears throat> this will go go vital. <clears throat> well, I could do with a bit of um, publicity, but that's not really the publicity you want to know. Why has that been held? You have to change the name now to Suffolk Shitter. Who who let that one go? <laughs> and I mean that in a moderator sense about who let that comment go. It must have been uh, either uh, South Coast Rob or Martin, the Phantom Raspberry Blah. You're showing your age, XP, with the Phantom, Ra Phantom Raspberry Blah. Showing your age. So, Ian, this will go vital. Dueling asses, dueling banjos, the Suffolk Wifter. You're very funny. You're very humorous, you lot. <clears throat> you can change your name now to the Suffolk Shitter. Okay. But if I keep saying these naughty words, that's YouTube's going to sort it out, and that's going to—I'm going to get told off. I'm very close to being monetized, and I don't—I <laughs> don't want to mess all that up. I'd never live it down, Norman, mate. Um, I'm still not living down the shoe on the head bit. I had a shoe on the head. Uh, a lot of people have done screenshots and, and the video comes out now and again. I don't care. I've got broad shoulders. I can take it. The two Ronnies is always relevant. Uh, WBC just needs to be in old London town. Old London town. Mm, old London town. Suffolk stinker. It didn't. It didn't, Jeff. Found any far things today? Yeah, ha ha ha. We, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I could go into it because you can adjust your captions yourself, can't you? And I'll put brackets fart. I don't know. He he, damn. What, what swine made you put a shoe on your head, noggin? On your noggin. I wonder, Rob. I wonder who forced me to put a, a shoe on my head, Rob. 
Jeff's crying with laughter. Good old boy. Weird British chick. The full sketch title was The Phantom Rise, but of old London town. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, okay. Right. <clears throat> Roman a trumpet brooches. Oh, dear. I just, this is going to go downhill from now. And I've got no pictures to show you anymore. Um, so I'll just let you take the whistle out of me for a bit. And then I'll just pull the plug. Uh, I'd crack up Miss Sifter walking in there wearing a gas mask. Now, the thing is, with Mrs. Sifter, Martin, and that's where you've crapped out, literally, be because Mrs. Sifter can't taste or smell. So I'm, I'm okay in that department. Unfortunately, Mrs. Sifter can't smell or taste, which is not good. Well, it's good in one respect, I suppose, but not good if you can't taste your food. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Petco said, we'll play it on those food today. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah <clears throat> another 30 minute of puns my bladder is bursting if you you know i could wee myself in a bit is she all right flag and flag and a fart what is she all right says josh is she all right don't know who you're talking about Rob, I want to know if he is holding another. No, because I'm that close to whittling myself, Rob. If I did do another one, I shall do two things at once, and that'll be a a guff and a and a wee at the same time. <clears throat> I didn't follow through, Jeff. I would have done if it was Monday, but there again, I wouldn't have done it because you didn't. You didn't explain how you managed. No, Ian, that didn't happen until a few years ago. Um, she could smell <laughs> and taste, but unfortunately, uh, that all went wrong a couple of three years ago. He's busting. I'm not busting for one of them. I just want a wee. I tell you what, I've got a cup here. I could fill that up, can't I? <sighs> Bit of sound effects. Not really. Not as all yourself, seeing as you've already grabbed your face. But I haven't, Martin. I haven't. Not tasting or smelling. Is she all right? Always uh, as a uh, polyp. Polyps in your nose. Uh, had an operation to remove them because she couldn't breathe through her nose and that messed all the taste and the smell up. <clears throat> I'm glad I made you laugh. Oh, God, is, is Anne on? I'm going to get told off now. Surely Anne's not on. <laughs> I didn't see Anne. I think you're you're taking the whiz out of me, you lot. I can't see Anne on here. You need a new computer chair. No, it's, you'd make it bigger than what it was. It was just a weeny, weeny, weeny guff. Farting, get, farting to get more views. A new low. <laughs> yeah, some people pay to watch people. Ugh. Okay. No, no, no. Don't go there, Rob. Don't go there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please. Don't make me put you on the naughty step, Rob. Actually, I can't, can I? Can I? I don't think you can naughty step moderators. Oh, I can. Right, uh, she heard it at all, Steve. She heard it at, heard it all, Steve. I don't know if she watches it back. She doesn't watch my stuff. She's not interested in metal detecting. She's not interested in my live streams or anything. So there you go. <clears throat> and if you're watching the upload, we're sorry. <laughs> I apologise to the ladies. It wasn't planned. I did mute the microphone, but unfortunately the mute was either too previous or too much afterwards so wait, I, I learnt my lesson I won't do it again I shall just sit here in discomfort okay I'm afraid Rob is not available now because he's doing a 300 second timeout he's going to be angry now when he comes back Robbie's can't beat a good bit of humour is it a good bit of humour though 
was a bit of a low, wasn't it? I try to keep the level of my live streams at a certain level. You know, I'm afraid it's dropped a bit today. <clears throat> go on, Martin, go for it. What's he going to do? If you want to get together, Rob, please do it by PM. Yeah, let go and see Rob. Let him take you in the woods. <clears throat> Sort sort you that clip out once you get back in the fields, Jeff. Mm. Yeah, Rob might be a tad miffed. I've never timed Rob out before, but <clears throat> he was going a little bit off the rails with his too much information. Good bant, Steve. Well, thanks for that. It's unintentional. <clears throat> Still got 16 people on. 16 people heard that. Actually, if we go back a bit, it's about 10, 22, aren't it? 21 people heard that. 21 people. My name will be in tatters. Um, WEC is all in good fun, Steve. Don't think I'm annoyed. No, I'm only take the whiz. Don't say that because I do what I go to the toilet. Um, normally Vader, we all do it. Yeah, but not on air. See, I, I hit the button and that mutes it and I thought, safe. Obviously not. Dying to know what he said. What, uh, Rob, he was on about Oh, I can't. I don't want to. If you look back, if you play at the back, well, no, will that delete his messages? I don't know how this timeout thing works. Bet Rob is squealing like a pig. <laughs> I reckon you've been watching Morley from Detecting Somerset too much. Why is that then, Ian? I think most of Suffolk heard that. I wish you'd like to drop it. Just waiting for Rob to come back on after his 300 seconds. Yeah, okay. Mr. Petticoat. I think Jeff gets the picture. Colin heard it in Bedfordshire. Come on, let's wait for Rob to come back. So when you're timed out, can you still hear the stream? I'm assuming you can still hear the stream, but you just can't join in. Morley does lots of love puffs on his videos. It's a love puff. Oh, fair enough. What is it? Weird British chip. My mum thought it was a clap of thunder, not telling her otherwise. <laughs> Colin, just waiting for the rumble now. Pomsy, I'm back. What's that smell? Ha ha ho ho ho. There's another rib. News flash. Earthquake in Suffolk. Normally, Vader, you can start a new craze, Steve. Love the YouTube guffs. So I do a new channel. Channel just get, I won't be able. Won't be able to keep it up, would I? It's never. It's like I never left. <laughs> We're just waiting for Rob to come back. So I timed him out. So he might be a little bit miffed when he comes back. Scott is back. Yep, we noticed that. Hanging on to 16 people. I will wind this up in a minute once Rob comes back. Let's we'll see what he says. Probably phone me and give me a load of abuse. <clears throat> I don't think Rob's coming back. Do you reckon we're upsetting him in, Josh? You need to put a cork in it. If I put a cork in it, Jeff, there'd be a bigger explosion. State 11. All depends on my bladder. I'll stay on as long as I can, but no longer after 11. Colin, stick around in the chat. Uh, it, it it went on for about 28 hours last week. Rob. <laughs> well, that gave him a chance to, to do, do something, but uh, there we go. Rob's back in the house. Mr. Random, Lord Random. Well, I've been asked to stay until 11 o'clock, God knows why, and that is about 18 minutes away. I've got a vibrating phone here, it's probably another advert. No, it's a message. We have a text message on the Suffolk Sifter hotline. <clears throat> Do I read the name out? Ha ha, Ian, that's very, very funny. Hilarious. How long did it take you to find that? 
emoji. Hee hee hee. How I laughed, Ian. Well, thanks for that. Uh, Jeff says yes. To be <laughs> Jeff's making it up now. Thank you, thank you. I've learned my lesson and whipping myself like a. Okay, just don't go there. I'm not saying it because you two will only get upset. Uh, Dirt Diggers UK Scott says the full moon episode two next week. Next two weeks ago was a madhouse. The full moon episode two. The full moon episode two weeks ago was a madhouse. Uh, I thought last week was pretty manic. 18 people. We've got two more people watching, look, because of that guff. So the word has got out. So those two people who just turned up, we need your thumbs up. Put your thumb up. Stick your thumb up. We need your thumbs. I need a drink. Come on, stop slagging, match. Let's play nicely. Else I'll get me naughty step stick out. I think if if you're on a live, if you're on someone's uh, live stream and you're a moderator, you can't time out another moderator. But because this is my live stream, I can time anybody out. I think that's the way it works. Is Rob going live after? prune juice if i'd add that jeff there'd be a big puddle on my chair uh i'm not even going to read that out josh uh scott says rob and petticoat were getting puffy in a tent friday night did you have a competition it's a typical man thing i suppose <clears throat> i have to vid i have a vid to put up not live it's a premiere thing, Rob, or are you just going to put a vid up? <laughs> Stephen got hotboxed. <laughs> that I don't want to know. I agree, Josh, hence why I said disgusting. Scott, he did too. Start seeing squirrels on his sleeping bag. <laughs> I did hamster and eagle killer. You're going above my head. <laughs> Shut us the the microphone the actual stand the microphone's on it's very squeaky i have to oil it because um you know people think that you uh guff when it's not <laughs> it, it wasn't <laughs> No, Martin, it wasn't. <coughs> You're just cracking me up. Don't, please don't keep commenting. Oh, I can't stop laughing. <coughs> I'm going to sub now. <laughs> for God's sake, please <coughs> wait for the... <coughs> I should put a sound effect on that. <laughs> <laughs> Ozone is just blown away over Suffolk. <laughs> Stuff at Donny VC. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, how much longer have I got to keep on here? Oh, I don't know. It depends how many I can brew up before 11 o'clock. <laughs> tell me, it wasn't as good as the first one, was it? Those two. That wasn't wet. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I 
I don't believe you could hear it that well. I know this microphone is pretty good. Um, the mic's just here, by the way. Um, but it's over the desk. Surely it don't pick that up. Mind you, it's directional, so it's directing towards me. Tie your belt around your short legs. Oh, he's just sitting there. In a mistake. It doesn't, I tell you, you know, you don't know, it doesn't. I mean, I'm so confident that it doesn't. That I'm going to let one of these off. <laughs> so if it was that dangerous, this spark from this party popper would be a big bang like that. So fingers in your ears and fire in the hole. Oh, blimey. That ricocheted off the ceiling. I'm talking about the party pooper. Play it back, Steve. I dare you. I can't, can I? Um, because it's, I can probably take the clip off, but it's uploading at the moment to YouTube, so you have to wait for it to upload before you can do anything. You can't even put a, a thumbnail or do anything to it until it's finished uploading. Even dog is. <laughs> <coughs> it's load, Steve. What do you mean? Believe us, it was loud. Oh, loud, loud. <laughs> uh, it was quite impressive, to be fair. But I just thought you lot hadn't, you hadn't ha had the benefit of it. I'll try and get the clip out, and that won't be next week, next Wednesday, because I'm on Holly Bob's at Overstrand in Norfolk, so you you won't have all these gizmos. It'll just be me mobile doing a, well, whatever I do with mobiles. Must take me selfie stick. And some gear, lights and stuff, charges and stuff like that. Uh, sniff a seat, Steve, for PayPal donation. It don't, you won't, you won't notice me doing it because the seat is below the camera level, so I, I could be doing anything. Better get a doctor, Steve. That <laughs> party popper, a metal detector found in the wreckage of his in the house. <clears throat> no more brown party poppers. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Dinner pads. <laughs> Don't you making me laugh? He's <clears throat> <laughs> <the> stretching. <laughs> Mark is really good. <laughs> oh dear. Dirt Diggers UK, please don't forget Scott. First row is here tomorrow. Oh dear, he's doing his adverts now. Look, blatant advertising. Might need a new seat next to his. <laughs> Suffolk Flatulence. You look very funny, aren't you? <coughs> yeah, Rob's going to edit it all together and put it on his um, deck and do a bit of rave with it. Do different, make a little tune out of it. Well, tonight has been an experience. Yep, it has been an experience. Suffolk Sniffer. 19 people still on. Are they waiting for another one? No, can't do it. If I do another one, I will wee myself. There's a brown haze around in that. There's no brown haze. It's green because I haven't got the green screen keyed out properly. Can't wait at Dirt Diggers UK. Oh, here we go. 10% off. Every time you say that, I'm going to do this. 10% off. Use SS Disc at Regton. Drop in C Nigel, who do you a good deal. Oh dear me. You make I laugh. Wait, forget a new seat, you need to move out of that house. Down <laughs> lady. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Do you see the LP flashing now? I don't think so. <laughs> Did you tie yourself down before you tie yourself down? <laughs> Oh, don't make me laugh. I should wee myself. <clears throat> no, there's no LP flashing now. <clears throat> Just to prove it. <clears throat> there you go. Not an LP in there. Just to save me life. Oh, dear. And then you get booted for bad things. Look, that's not a bad thing. It's natural, Rob. It's natural. It's subliminal advertising. <laughs> F me, says Mr. Vettig. 
Detecting the past, WTF. <laughs> I've got to leave the house. The people have got to come in and just clean it all up. I've got to have one of those deep cleans they talk about. <laughs> yeah, what, what is the sandbar deal on that one? <clears throat> <laughs> oh dear, no. get a grip steve get a grip pull yourself together <laughs> clench like you've never clenched before <laughs> check your socks <laughs> just be more impressed oh dear i haven't done a large poo oh dear well i've only got six minutes of this to do and i can stop <laughs> You need to plug that up. That's Mr. Petticoat. <laughs> I can't expose you. It's wearing headphones. I apologise if you're using headphones. I apologise if you've got a large TV, although you couldn't see anything, but understandably the soundbar does uh, let it go. No wonder you have tight... You have t no wonder you have tight open doors when you're alive. You need to get a man on Mars. <laughs> oh dear. What we've been eating? Um, I don't know. I had a spaghetti bolognese for for dinner, but that's about it. <laughs> oh dear. Please don't do that. WBC, make me laugh. 94 decibels on the last one. Now, I'm sure Rob's got enough material there to cut and edit and he's deck for that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, if you give me a chance Rob I'll just have to <laughs> go to the loo after this and uh, then I'll watch your vid <laughs> butt plug <laughs> oh don't go there <clears throat> that one came in at 9.4 on a Richter scale uh, you got we've been held up there Josh <clears throat> If you were around for what, you would have saved. No, no, no. <clears throat> I don't think that's appropriate, Josh. That one. Where? Thanks, Rob, for that. No, Divi done that. Thanks, Divi. There's, there's limits you can say on here, Josh, and that overstepped the mark. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm not lactose intolerant, WEC. <clears throat> <laughs> I've not been to the loo. Despite what you lot think, I'm made of stronger stuff than that. Rob, now you need to upload two before Steve deletes it. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it on. I'm not ashamed. Might get blocked by YouTube, perhaps. I don't know. The volcano in the Yellowstone Park just exploded. Uh, Jeff says, I'm entering for you. World's best fire contest. <laughs> <clears throat> now, come on, Josh. There's uh, things you can say and there's things you can't say. <clears throat> just have a little bit of compassion, buddy. You broken me? Have I broken my stream? Uh, it looks like the um, chat box is still working. Or is the uh, chat box still working? Listen, people, four minutes and I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Spag bowl intolerance. <clears throat> Everyone keeps at least five meters from steve at all times um yeah Lutch, look, light the blue touch paper and stale white stand well back i'm not in a tent well i will be with um me, uh, extreme metal detecting the uk but i shan't be in the tent i should be outside in my chair round the fire well it could be dangerous round the fire could <laughs> can you imagine that big jet Steve, if people have portable fans with them, it's not for the heat. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Why are you going, Steve? Do you need a... Well, no, I don't actually. I need a wee more than anything else, Jeff. And I've been on here nearly two hours. Oh, that's my limit. I'm not staying at 11 I need a drink. I need a wee and a drink. <clears throat> Plus, I need to go and see Mrs. Sifter. Nah, don't smoke again. It's just had one, says normally Raider. I'm in a cigarette. What do you say? Well, unbelievably, there's still nine, 19 people watching, which I can't believe has happened. I don't know why. I'm glad you couldn't make it over to Austria. Thanks very much for that. Check under your crackers in a few Check under crackers in a few minutes. Uh, the Edge, anyone get a lot of <laughs> anyone get a lot of chatter with the dais? Does anyone get a lot of chatter with the dais? <laughs> I'll explain why you're doing the clothes washing tomorrow. <laughs> Come for the detecting, stay on for the jokes. <laughs> if someone's asked a serious question here, um, The Edge hasn't got a clue what's happened in the last three quarters of an hour. Asked us. It depends on your sentence, really, doesn't it? Uh, it depends on the ground. <clears throat> you can probably sort that out uh, with uh, some adjustments in your settings. <laughs> Blown off. <laughs> Go to I and E now. Uh, get me. <laughs> Oh God, Martin was feeling slightly poorly. Uh. <laughs> yes, I've got a lot of chatter at the moment. <clears throat> oh, don't WBC, please. I'm literally crying. I'm crying. Oh. You don't do. You're not doing me bells palsy a lot of good. <clears throat> just come in you've missed well you need to go back uh when the uploads finish you need to go back to about uh 10 22 uh that'll be the time i'm not sure what that is in um minutes but <laughs> near the, near the half an hour back and you'll you'll find you'll find out you could probably get the gist of the uh happening by the comments <laughs> i don't need wd-40 up there Ian. Uh, definitely a no-no. <laughs> Next fear is going to have nightmares. <sighs> Rob it. Rob it. <sighs> Rob it will be up tonight at midnight. New vid. Uh, Josh says you'll take it one two. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fairly good at judging things, so there will no be no follow-throughs. <clears throat> <laughs> Anyone want to bet on the length of skid mark Steve has managed <laughs> tonight? Go for two inches. <laughs> oh <dear. clears throat> First Roman coin for Scott. Boy, is it you got a really, I'll give you I'll give Scott a, a party popper. This is if it's right, Scott. I'm not incontinent. <laughs> this is for Scott. First Roman. Fingers in your ears, people, fire in the hole. I've never let so many off in one night before. Party poppers. Talk about party poppers. Oh, that one's gone in me. Dregs in me tea. That's not nice. Oh. <clears throat> right. In Contini. In what? Who's that? Finished yet. Not quite. Another two minutes. <clears throat> Mrs. Sift come in. Got knocked out. Again, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just going to read your comments and I'm going to be out of here because Rob's going to be after me. He's going to be not live, but he's doing a video. I don't know whether it's a premiere or just a. he's going to put a video up. Uh, Rob and mine will be live, live stream. It'll be very soon. Or <laughs> after Steve's following through. Uh, Mark says, one thing for sure, your sword matches. <laughs> 
Steve's Millie Connolly said, once you pass 50, you never trust a fart. Yeah. Okay. Dirt Digger, what did the... <laughs> you are the wind between my wings. Right. And on that note, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to love you and leave you uh, tonight. Uh, bear in mind, next week's, next Wednesday's live stream will be from uh, Overstrand in Norfolk. It'll be via a mobile phone. So you'll get none of this wizardry. No pictures involved, no party poppers. I might take one or two, but I don't want to scare the locals. And um, I should be on my holly bobs. So thanks ever so much for joining in with me. We've got 21 people. <laughs> I've never hung on to 21 people before. Not this late at night. Um, a joke about the ship the other way. The, Biz the Bismarck. Okay. So I, know I can't, I can't do that, Martin. I can't stick a pop. No, I'm not going to do that either. Uh, Scott, uh, another mod hand, okay. Um, XP now stands for extra farts. If a party popper will scare the locals, then a mobile phone certainly will. Yeah, okay. Rob's getting ready to do one. I'm gonna say good night, everybody. <laughs> There'll be a special place, yeah, probably you know, miles from everyone. Thanks for that. I'll see you next Wednesday. Hopefully, if we've got the um blatant advertising hopefully if uh, we have a wi-fi stream or a signal from your phone so thanks very much i'm going to make rob's day by cutting myself off too short um i'm going to say thanks thanks for thumbs up and i'm going to point and say see you next week hopefully i'm just going to sit here and wait and count to five in my head <laughs>